Okay, this is how you enter in scores each week. Okay, the first thing you do is you'll be sent um, your login details. So when you get that by email, you then log in. So there you go, and log in. And you have access to Teams, which is this tab here. There's three tabs at the top here. You can click Teams, go to Matches, and the first thing you're going to do is select your team. Let's get that. Find your grade and your round. That means current. Um, but let's show you how you do it. So this is the C grade. So here's all your players you can choose from. And here's the team I've already selected. Uh, I think sometimes by default that your previous team carries carries over. So it'll probably be my last week's team. But you can change players by clicking that and then removing them by clicking that. They move over here, or you can click a player here and add them over here. So as I'll add over here. There you go. Or I can put it back again. Remove. Um, and this is basically your batting order. So make sure you get it in the right order by moving them up or down. So you can move players up, or you can move them down. You can change this up if you've done it, but um, yeah, this is how you do it. Um, and you need to choose a captain and a wicket keeper. So to choose that, you choose the player and you go set for the captain. I can change it to Adam Coots. It changes it there. Go back to me. Um, likewise with the wicket keeper. You choose the wicket keeper and you hit set. Pretty easy. And then when you're happy with that, you go update. And you can change that, I think, as many times as you can before the game's uh, results are entered, I think. Okay, um, and then to do your match score, so you need to do that before the game in, you know, in theory, but yeah, there you go. Um, and then when you do the uh, results, you go here, so you go matches, match results, and you basically, the, the fixture's are already there for you, you go round two, go, go round two game, and you basically put in all the information, it's pretty straightforward, just follow the instructions here. Um, and then you save it once you've finished. So I go back to round one, which has been done already. And it's been entered in already, all the results here. See the, the buys and leg buys and wickets. and So wires, no balls are all entered in as well. And then what you need to do is enter in the uh, player scores. So by default, you have the order that you put in your team selection as your batting order here. You can always change that here manually if you wanted to, or you can go back to your team selection and change it. And you essentially put in how they got out. There's a list here if you can choose from. Um, if you know who their bowlers were. Uh, and now, if the other team haven't put in their details, you oh, hang on, oh, I can choose this now. Okay, so I, I, I'll be able to get the scoreboard out and choose who got them out. Um, that's for the batting side. On the bowling side, you, which is over here, um, the opening bowler is number one over here, number two, so that basically number one will be Alex Forbes, two will be Gus Hambrook, uh, and so forth. So these are my five bowlers here. So that's the order that they bowled in, then how many overs they bowled, how many maidens, uh, wickets, runs, I've got no idea what that one means, uh, wides, no balls, and then you enter all the catches in as well. So these are the guys that caught things over here. So that means that Fishy caught one and so forth. Um, and there's a uh, caught wicket keeper. So Adam was a wicket keeper, which has a plus there. So he caught one as a wicket keeper. And then there's runouts assisted or runouts unassisted and stumpings. It's all pretty straightforward. So you just basically take it off your book. And then now I'm going to say this is the draft because I haven't finished it yet. So if you get halfway through and you just to complete it later on, which I do. I need to add, add all the bowlers in from the other team. I'm going to save as draft, and I can come back and do that later on. But that's basically it. So you get to select your, select your team first, match results, and then the player scores. Uh, and I think there's a confirm match results too. How's that work? So I'll look here, I forget. Um, yeah, it's been confirmed, because I'll put the results in second. Um, it's confirmed automatically, um, but yes, you can confirm the result, which I'll do for that now. Yeah, it's all confirmed. So obviously, you can just dispute it too if you want to. But that's it. Okay, enjoy.